Conquering Challenges, The Essence of Bite the Bullet. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase that you might have heard in movies, books, or even in everyday conversations, bite the bullet. Understanding this phrase not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insight into the culture and history behind English idioms. Let's embark on this linguistic adventure together. Bite the bullet means to endure a painful or otherwise unpleasant situation that is seen as unavoidable. The phrase suggests a sense of bravery, resilience, and stoicism in the face of adversity. It's about facing your challenges head-on, even when you know it's going to be tough. The origin of Bite the Bullet is believed to date back to the 19th century, during times of war. Before modern anesthesia, soldiers who needed surgery would bite on a bullet to endure the pain without screaming. The bullet served as a means of distraction and a way to clench the jaw, focusing the soldier's attention away from the pain. This historical context highlights the phrase's connotations of courage and endurance. In contemporary times, bite the bullet is used metaphorically to describe facing up to difficult or unpleasant tasks or decisions. For instance, after months of delay, I finally bit the bullet and scheduled that dental surgery. We need to bite the bullet and have that difficult conversation with our team about budget cuts. These examples show how the phrase can be applied in various contexts, emphasizing the action of confronting challenges directly. Understanding phrases like, bite the bullet, offers more than just linguistic knowledge. It provides a window into the cultural attitudes and historical events that shape language. This phrase embodies a universally admired quality, the courage to face hardship without flinching. It's a testament to human resilience and the ability to persevere through pain or difficulty. I hope this exploration of Bite the Bullet has been enlightening and enriching for your English language learning journey. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the stories, histories, and cultures they represent. By learning idiomatic expressions like this one, you're not only building your vocabulary but also deepening your understanding of the English-speaking world. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to our next linguistic adventure together.